so hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm gonna tell you how you can get your intel hd graphics working on mac os high sierra so let's get started so first of all after installing high sierra we need to do the post installation so we have this high sierra tools folder let's copy it to our desktop we have all the tools that are required for force installation as well as the graphics fixing so the download link for this folder is given in the description let's open the folder here we have the clover bootloader installer so we're gonna run the installer uh, right click the clover r5133.pkg file and hit open Here's a Clover EFI installer. Hit continue. Again, hit continue. Again, continue. Then change install location and select your root hard drive that you installed macOS. Now click on customize. Select Clover in the ESP and in the boot section, select boot OS as in MBR. Hit install. Now give your password as uh, install software. Now the Clover installation is uh, being done, so let's wait until it finishes. So now the installation is finished, uh, let's hit close. And uh, now what you need to do is just open the EFI partition. And uh, after opening the EFI partition, open the High Sierra Tools folder. Here we have a Clover folder that all contains all the Clover files that are required. So just open the Clover folder on the EFI partition and uh, remove all the files from here. And copy all the contents from High Sierra folder to the EFI. So now Clover installation is done. Uh, next uh, step is to enable the graphics acceleration on the High Sierra. So for that we need some Kex files. Let me show you. So these are the Kex that are required to be in the other folder. Now go to the High Sierra Tools folder again. Here we have an Intel HD Graphics QECI Legacy 10.12 patch. So open this folder. Here we have all the patched frame buffers and CACs that are required to enable the graphics. Now open your Macintosh HD drive, go to system, go to library and then navigate to the extensions folder. Now in this folder you need to delete some texts. So scroll down until you get the Intel HD graphics texts. Now this is the text. Now from here select the next four text also. Here. So these are the five texts. Just right click and move them to the trash. Now get your password. Now close the extensions folder. And here uh, you just need to get the cax files just open the cax wizard right click and open it so now you need to just rebuild the cache for the system library extensions uncheck repair permissions and just hit execute now provide your password So system cache is successfully rebuilt. Now hit OK and go to the installation tab and drag all the four CACs to the CACs wizard. So 
So now we have dragged the four cacks. Now it's time to select the frame buffer. So go to the Mac OS Sierra frame buffer. Go to single link. And go to alternate 2. LCD plus VGA. LW1. Now drag the frame buffer to the CAX wizard. Now just hit install. And now the installation is done. Now you just need to restart your PC and you will have a full graphics acceleration. And just rebuild the cache again. Hit OK. Now close everything. And just uh, select restart from the menu. Now we have our system restarted and you can see we have a fully transparent dock and the menu bar. Let's go to the about this Mac about this Mac section and here we have the Intel HD graphics 288 megs. So we have the full graphics acceleration enabled on Mac OS High Sierra. So if you like the video please hit the like button and if you're new here please click that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so you won't miss any of my future videos. So you can see the dark mode looks pretty fine. Thanks for watching.